Today we're going to be making shower steamers. Inside this pot I have coconut oil. I have 91% rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. I have menthol crystals of 60 grams and I also have about two teaspoons of a combination of essential oils and we're going to be adding 30 milligrams of mica to this. This is really used turquoise mica. It's a glitter shimmer mica. It's really pretty. I normally don't color my, sh sh uh, my shower steamers, but we're going to be coloring this ones because these are for me. And we just stir it up until it all starts dissolving. It takes a little while for the coconut oil to break down. So we're just going to keep stirring it a little bit. And stir and stir. This is my um, citric acid and my baking soda. I finally grind my citric acid up so it looks like a powder. And this is what it looks like once it's all melted and evenly coated. You still see there's a little bit of coconut, but I'll be putting on my gloves for this because menthol crystals can burn your hands. So you want to be quite protected for it. As well as the citric acid can be irritating to your skin. So you want to be covered while you're making this. And we're going to be dissolving in the oils into the baking soda first. As you can see, it's a beautiful turquoise color. You want to make sure everything is out of your bowl because your essential oils are what the highest cost of your ingredients are. So make sure you get a rubber spatula and scrape all those out because that's what is going to be cost effective for your business. And we're going to be scraping everything out. If you want to, you can add the baking soda back to the bowl and scrape it out that way and just start stirring all the ingredients in. You want to work fast because your baking soda can activate while you're doing this. So just keep stirring until everything is equally disturbed, <laughs> distributed. You can also use your hands as I'm doing here and just mix, 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 mix. Break everything up in your hands and just... Mix until it's all one color, pretty much. Mix, 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 mix. You just want to keep squishing it as much as you can. That way you're crushing all the, the leftover oil and any menthol in there. As you can see, it's all distributed evenly. And now we're going to add the citric acid in. You want to work very quickly here because the citric acid and baking soda combination may activate. So you want to mix thoroughly as fast as possible to prevent that from happening. Um, one reason why shower steamers don't work is because they uh, become activated from too much moisture, either in the air or in your mix. So you want to mix fast and thoroughly as possible. Make sure all your ingredients are smashed in together evenly and it will help bond together a better shower steamer. As you see, you want your mixture to be nice and clumped together. It, see how it's all nice and clumped and when I drop it, it still stays together? That means your mixture is actually ready to be put into your mold. So as long as it's nice and hard and clumpy like that, it's perfect, ready. Here is my mold. It is a snowflake mold by Milky Way Molds. It's my signature mold because I own Shimmering Ice Crystals Creations. An ice crystal, of course, is an ice crystal that circles the moon. So I make all, anything I can with menthol into my snowflake molds. As you can see, I'm just firmly packing it in there. You want to make sure it's tightly packed in there. And um, shake off the excess so you don't waste any of your product. Um, wasting product, you know, costs money and you don't want to do that. Um, as you can see, the mold is very pretty with the turquoise color in it. And this is a fondant iron. You can get these at any molten store. And you just want to flatten out the back so it's easier to unmold the shower steamer from the mold. It makes it much easier process to do it. So you just pack, 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 pack. And then iron out with the fondant iron. I usually get about eight out of these and then one tester and then I'm going to use, another, use the tester for another video and we'll show you how to use it just having a bowl in front of you so you can breathe in the vapor that way or you can just hang them in the shower in an organza bag up on a hanger close to your faucet you don't want it directly into contact with your faucet because all the good stuff will be going down the drain and you won't get the vapor action you need from the menthol inside of the shower steamer and as you see we're still just ironing it out making it look nice and pretty 
nice and smooth so it's easily to unmold this. We're going to be unmolding these tomorrow. I normally keep them sitting for at least 24 hours depending on the humidity, 48 hours, and come back tomorrow to see the unmolding. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.